So I get asked the question about substation. Is substation the only way to treat acne scars? Substation is not the only way and you really need energy-based devices to build the collagen and break the fibrous walls. Let me explain. When you have that pimple and it heals and you get a hole, there are three problems. There's a fibrous wall. It prevents the bacteria from running out like a prison wall. Destruction of the dermis. The white blood cells and the bacteria, they, they, they kill each other by throwing biochemicals. These biochemicals don't only destroy each other, they destroy the dermis. And sometimes, not all the time, the stettering of the fibrous wall to the base. So what I like to do is I like to use energy-based devices, break the fibrous walls, build the collagen up. Occasionally, you might find one or two of these uh, holes sort of stuck down. You can actually see it on the skin, you know. And we take a needle, slide it underneath the skin, cut these fibrous bands and it comes out. It's a secondary treatment to acne scar treatment. If you don't break the fibrous walls, you don't build the collagen, you're not going to get effect because the tethers is just one part of the tree. Not all the holes have tethers. Some of them do. The substitution is a bit traumatic to the skin because we're cutting, so I'd rather not traumatize the skin so much. Sometimes you get bruising, bleeding, and um, unnecessary. So, tethering, substitution, sometimes use, not all the time. Part of the whole spectrum of acne scar treatment, but I'd rather break the fibrous walls, build collagen first, and I find that much more effective.